Natalie, I see you've made a friend over oh, there. I have. Look at this. I got Libby's good spot. We have some we have some thumper action going. Oh, uh, this is my new friend, Libby the Bulldog. Actually, Nikki's own dog here we're getting this morning. Yes. Nikki Eaton, doctor at the Polaris Animal Hospital. Oh, Libby. She's loving you, Natalie. Hey, that is okay with me. I'm loving Libby, too. So you're going to have to interview one-handed. Yes. But speaking of uh, having things to deal with in the summer, such as uh, Libby, who's loving life right now. Bugs. 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 Bug yes. spray. We don't hesitate to put it on us, but not a good thing to be around animals. No, because it contains DEET. And DEET is actually harmful to dogs and harmful to cats. So we don't want to use any bug spray that we use on us. We want to make sure that we do not apply it to our dogs or cats. I so. had no idea. How do you know if they've ingested DEET though? Well, one of the things is if they get in, t in contact with it or if you accidentally put it on them and then they start grooming themselves, um, you should bring them to the veterinarian. But some of the signs are like drooling, vomiting. So maybe you put something on the dog, you weren't sure what it was and you see some sort of drooling, vomiting, lethargy. You may have put a product on there that contain DEET. Uh, what about, you know, if you spray yourself, I mean, sometimes you can get wet skin. I mean, yes. and my dog, like anytime I put lotion on or anything, he's like always licking lick. me. Yes, they're very attracted to that. So one of the things that I always tell people is when you are applying bug spray on you or your family is make sure the dogs aren't around okay. because sometimes the spray, if the wind goes, the spray can go in their area too. And just Oof. make sure it's dry before you go near the dog. And you know, it usually dries fairly quickly. So just make sure it's dry and try not let to let the dog give you any types of kisses. I know that's hard. Oh, so. Yes, it is hard, especially when they're cute like <laughs> Libby. Well, you were talking about us spraying ourselves. Is there anything then we can do for our little furry friends to help them so they don't get bug bites? I mean, is that a problem? Um, sometimes it's a problem, but a lot of times it isn't because they do have the fur coat. So the fur coat actually does protect them against bug bites. So, But mosquitoes can still bite them and um, cause heartworm disease. So we do have to be careful of that. Um, but one of the things that I tell people is that there is a product out. If you see a lot of flies or mosquitoes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or anything like that around your dog, there is a product out called Advantix for dogs. Now it's just mm. for dogs, it's not for cats because it can contains permethrins and permethrins are bad for cats. Oh. But it will help repel flies and gnats and mosquitoes and it also protects against fleas and ticks, which is great. I Added benefit. I know that name. Yes. It, it is it's on the commercial, you know, the cute little yeah. puppy. Yes. Well, I've heard now baby powder, for instance, is something you can put on dogs to kind of help bugs swarm away. Any truth to that? No, there yeah. isn't. Well. No. And I know uh, even I'm guilty of it, of using Skin So Soft. Yeah. Um, there's no real data out there that says that it protects against it. But uh, again, if you're going to put that on your dog or cat, just be really, really careful. So. Well, you know, one thing that you always think about, unfortunately, with mosquitoes, West Nile virus. Yes. Is that something to We see it about? more in horses than we do in dogs and cats. Mm. So, again, if you have a horse, you're probably more concerned with it, and they do have vaccines for horses for that, but dogs and cats were not as concerned with that. Oh, good stuff. Well, thank you so much for the wonderful Thanks. tips and letting Thanks. me yes. meet wonderful <laughs> Libby here. One of five that belong to you, right, yes. Dr. Eden? Oh. Yes. Good stuff. Lisa, we complain about having one sometime. Could you imagine having five like Dr. Eaton here? <laughs> nope. Nope. My scoots is enough of a dog for me. You know that. Let's get you a first warning.